I think we'll start this out with an example of what the hell the chain is going to have a task. Grab by the function. Qualifier. Yeah, we might be wrong. Well, in order to understand that, we need to understand the So which kind of level do you want? So now I can no longer get to my boogers. topic that we would like to cover here. This one is HEPA, also known as the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Well, would you like to know what HEPA Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, this, this topic's pretty serious. I think it needs to come yeah. from a professional. I, I am a professional. It, it, it needs to come from a professional. All right. <laughs> I guess the criteria for being a professional in today's world is just to look like one. You know, it's really kind of cool here. Not only at Psychor have I stripped for the camera more than once, I'm doing it again. All right, and um, beside that, um, the fact that as soon as we take off this sort of thing and put this on, suddenly, <laughs> the irony is it relatively fits. We're, like, it, we didn't plan this out, folks. Um, I didn't intend to record a video today, but that's okay. So, because, why not? And anyway, even if I did, and it was, never mind. So, we're back to HIPAA, and look, whew, I look professional suddenly. I am doing the t-shirt and suit top thing, which is, you know, kind of fashionable. Very Steve Jobs. It's yeah. very Steve Jobsy, right? You know, and I, I like my Apple devices, so maybe it's a fashion. I just like him. Anyway, beside the point, all right, we're back to HIPAA, all right, Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. So what does it do? What is it? It's a law. It was passed a long time ago. Like, I don't know, some of you might not even be born, like 1996, I think is when it got going. Um, it's really about protected health information. So PHI. In our world today, you'll probably hear a lot of it about EPHI. So electronic protected health information, which is really just talking about the data about you. Okay, so everything there is about you, about your clients, um, your health information, all of that stuff um, that, that you need to know. For example, um, some of the stuff that we might protect about your clients would be their name, their age, their gender, their ethnicity, their diagnoses, their treatment protocols, the location in which they live, the data in which you have collected, all of their little A's and the ABC's, their SD's, their reinforcers, all of that is protected because it's about them. We don't want anybody to get a hold of it. We don't want anybody to know anything about it except the people that need to know, all right? Um, so HIPAA is like whew, huge, okay? It's, it's bigger than that, but I don't know where the ends of my screen are. So anyway, so HIPAA is really big, um, and we're going to go over whew, a little bit today. Um, so th there are um, uh, things that you need to worry about with regard to how do we protect your data. So the first things first about data protection is you zipping your lips, all right? No more talky about your clients. Mm -mm, not gonna happen. You can talk in code. I suppose I had a client who uh, peed their pants today. I had a client who waved at me today and it was such a great thing. Even if it's a positive like that, you can't say Billy waved at me today or Jessica waved at me today. Ah, you're violating them, right? You're violating their, um, their trust in you and you're violating that uh, confidentiality agreements that you have with the, with the patients and, and the clients and um, their caregivers and so on and so forth. So, um, so zip your lips. You can't talk about it. Now, who can you talk about it with? You can talk about it with your BCBA. You can talk about it potentially with other RBTs that are approved to work with the client that you're working with. And that's about it. Oh, caregivers, like the people at caregivers, um, you, you're allowed to talk to them, of course, and whoever a, a release has been given to, basically, you're allowed to talk about your client with whoever your BCBA tells you to talk to them about, um, including the BCBA. So other than that, uh-uh, you're not going to do it. Um, so just close your mouth. It's one of those really important things. Um, loose lips sink ships, and trust me, you, this is not a ship you want to sink um, because it can really bring down an entire organization. Just a little bit of errors here um, can cause some humongous problems, not only ethically, um, but financially. Um, so how do we, again, how do we continue to protect passwords? All your stuff better be password protected. It better be encrypted. Computers better be encrypted. In in That's a good, good word. Um, <laughs> I've encrypted my computer. Um, so you've encrypted your computer. Uh, I have no idea how you encrypt a computer, but um, if someone finds out, please let us know. Um, so your password protection, again, there's probably standards that your organization has set with regard to passwords. Um, same thing with encryption. Confidentiality. Again, confidentiality just means you know, but you're not going to say anything. So zip it. Um, transportation issues. You know, a lot of this is relevant. You go, oh, whatever, I already know this. Well, imagine if you're driving down the road and boom, you're hit by a truck, right? Your car is hit by a truck and boom, your computer and stuff flies everywhere. Somebody goes and picks up your hard drive and goes, I wonder what's on it. And they try to get your credit card information or whatever. They grab that hard drive and they put it into a machine that says, this has been encrypted. It will disintegrate in 30 seconds. Psst. 
right? So that's why you do that. You protect that information so no one else can get it, right? So how do you communicate about your clients? Um, oftentimes we use codes. Uh, my code is RISA. Um, Brad's code is Burby. Um, so we have a RISA and a Burby. If you can't figure it out, R-Y, S-A, right? Insane. So RISA, um, an easy sort of way to communicate. There's sometimes people use numbers. Hey, 5146. Um, we used to have some birds in the pigeon lab that we named, but that we had numbers too. We didn't use their names because we just used numbers. So I suppose you could number your clients, but it gets a little weird. Um, public identification, another issue that pops up. Um, if you see your client in public, you can't do, it's this. You can't even, you can't even do the head toss. You can't even acknowledge that they're there. Now, if they come up to you and acknowledge them and they'll be like, hey, Ryan, how are you today? I'm like, hey, good, man. What's going on? Nice to see you. You know, so that's fine. You can do that sort of thing if they acknowledge you first. Um, but even if they've done something horrifically awful to you in the last five minutes, five days, or five hours, um, you probably shouldn't be acknowledging. It might be hard. Maybe they did something really gross or something. You caught them masturbating. Who knows? Whatever. And you were trying to control that scenario and you are working with them in the environment. All of a sudden, you see them in, uh, in the Kroger store or whatever. And you're like, oh my gosh, that, nope, don't do it. Just completely chill. Nothing's going to happen. Just go get the hand wipes and get yourself all cleaned up. Um, so anyway, that, that's a really, so don't identify them. Um, also don't wear identifying information about the organization with which you work. Um, keep it on you, like in your pocket or something like that. You know, this sort of thing. You hide it in here and say, ah, see, I do work here. But um, don't, don't, don't leave it out because people will know who you work for and they'll identify, oh, that's a client. Um, so you're working with a kiddo in, in a store or whatever. Um, and you just don't want that identifying information on you because then people will understand what you're doing. So um, kind of last point is just take this really, really seriously. And I'm going to part with some certain words here um, that were stolen from a long, long time ago, but that's just the way I do things. Um, so anyway, here we go. What you do here, what you see here when you leave here, stays here. All right. So remember that and remember HIPAA. It's about protecting um, the protected health information. And, or pro yeah, protect, yeah, protected health information. There you go. I always get it confused. Anyway, hope you're having fun and uh, that's HIPAA for you. Take care.